Peter Bright at Ars Technica has just put another nail in the coffin of the beloved headphone jack. He writes about a new development kit for hardware makers to make lightning versions of audio hardware. The development Cirrus Logic CS42L42 and appears to be the first step toward creating headphones that use the lightning jack. Sam, how attached are you to the audio jack? Uh we were uh, we had a really great article. It was Andrew Cunningham, who's our head Apple guy at Ars Technica, who just really was able to sum up what it is about the 3.5 millimeter jack that is unlike any other. There's been no better replacement. Than, there's been nothing to offer people more service. Uh, headphones are these sorts of things that you just want to be able to plug into every device. Uh, very few companies have gotten away with doing proprietary things with these. I think. Microsoft tried this with the newest Xbox One controller, uh, and people hated it. Nobody bought their headsets. They ended up with way too much unsold stock, and they went in and they revised the crap out of their controller to get a headphone jack in there. The, the, the market has spoken for so many years about how many devices work with that. But that being said, once these sorts of development kits go out, that's the beginning of the end, at least in terms of what Apple's doing. They need other companies on board if this is going to happen. There's no way Apple's going to do this by themselves. Uh, as much as they like to control their, uh, their I'm sorry, their cases, uh, their accessories. You know, Apple wants you to use Apple approved, but let's not kid ourselves. Apple's iPhone line lives and dies by other manufacturers being a part, jumping on board and being excited because they do so much of the promoting in email advertising, in social media advertising, just in general social pressure. So if everybody has cool options for wireless, Bluetooth-ish or whatever the heck Apple does, uh, for their for their headphones, people might bite. Um, this is going to be a very hard sell. It's going to be very uphill. Uh, Apple has definitely gotten rid of important jacks and things that we love, like the floppy in our uh, desktop towers, uh, the e Ethernet port in our MacBook Pros, that sort of thing. Uh, it, 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 they're not. They have experience in telling people you don't need this anymore. Uh, but I think this will be the hardest sell because nobody. Th this has been really the most entrenched thing that Apple has faced off against in some time. So their success is really going to live and die by how the market responds. And these sorts of dev kit releases are absolutely their most important move uh, if they think this has a chance in hell. And God, I hope that. I hope it does not. I like my headphone jack. I'll take a little width in my device in order to have my headphones work. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a ba it's a battery issue. I, I mean, that's what you hear again and again. They're not trying to make the phone any thinner. It's for more room for a battery. But I don't know. This is, the kits are available to developers uh, who are part of the Made for Eye device program. Uh, the the ire that this is raised in people. Uh, Good choice of word, ire. Get, <laughs> the ire. The ire. Uh, ire. Uh, the, the eye anger <laughs> or ire. Uh, you would think that that Apple's actually taking the jack away from you. Like, you don't have to buy another iPhone. You do not have to buy this next iPhone. Stick I'm, with your I'm iPhone. Just, I'm just going to tell Apple right now, jack off. Don't you put <laughs> your hands on that. That's all for me.